Hello everyone, Asma this side. In this video, I will be explaining you how to use ultrasonic sensor with Node MCU 8266. The component used are ultrasonic sensor HCSR04, Node MCU ESP8266, Arduino Uno, Breadboard, and jumper wires. Before moving further, I must tell you that I will be using Arduino IDE in order to program the Node MCU 8266. So if you aren't familiar with the process, then you can check out my previous article or video. Link will be in the description box below. Before moving on, let us gain some background knowledge about the working of HCSR04. The name is self-explanatory. It measures distance by receiving and sending ultrasonic signals. An ultrasonic sensor is a device that can measure the distance of an object by using sound waves. It measures distance by sending out a sound wave at a specific frequency and waits for the sound wave to bounce back. By recording the time taken between the sound wave being generated and the sound wave bouncing back, it is possible to calculate the distance between the sensor and the object. If you want more technical answer, then it could be the sensor has had emits an ultrasonic wave and receives the wave reflected back from the target. Ultrasonic sensor measure the distance to the target by measuring the time between the emission and the reception. Here's a picture of HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. You might be thinking why am I using Arduino here? Actually the operating voltage of HCSR04 is 5 volts. But if we connect the HCSR04 directly to the node MCU ESP8266 then we are liable to get no result as the output voltage by any pin of node MCU ESP8266 is 3.3 volts. Therefore we use Arduino since the output voltage for Arduino is 5 volts. So this is the connections. I can explain also the connection, connections. The SCSR04, the Node MCU, ESP8266 and Arduino are connected to the breadboard. The VCC of SCSR04 is connected to VCC of Arduino. Ground is connected to ground of Arduino. The ground of Node MCU is connected to ground of Arduino. The trigger pin of uh, is connected to digital IO pin D2 and the eco pin is connected to digital IO pin D3. Moving on to the coding part. So this is the code. If you are unable to understand the working behind the code that I would recommend you to take a quick look at my another video where I have used Arduino instead of Node MCU ESP8266. Of course the link would be in the description box. So you can see the output window on the serial monitor you can see the distance being calculated. So that's all with this video. I hope you like it and if you have any comments or suggestions then please comment down below.